my boxes for my birthday got here yesterday, but I couldn't film yesterday, so I'm gonna film now. One box, I know everything that's in it because I ordered it from Ulta. One of my gifts from Bubba was um, a hundred dollar, not a hundred, a hundred fifty dollars card gift card from Ulta. So I went ham and I got some things that I needed to like replace, and then I got some new things. So I'm gonna show you guys that, and then. You already know if you want OG on my channel. My best friend likes to send me stuff. So for my birthday, she sent me a big old box. And I have no idea what's in this box because for the first time in like the many years that I've known her, she didn't tell me what she was getting me except for one thing. Maybe I do know, but I don't know if she got it. So we're going to find out. So first box I'm going to do is Sammy's box because it smells like Sammy and I want to smell Sammy. Okay, first things first, it smells like Sammy. I even see Sammy. Second, the first thing I see, aside from this stuff, is la I didn't plan this. I can't plan this. I had no idea what she was getting me. But I did tell her that my, like, this green highlighter hoodie, it's like thing on my chest. And it has a hole somewhere in here. I think this is my other sweater. <laughs> like, this shit is, like, it's dirty. So I was telling her I need another highlighter one to, like, wear out because I just wear this one in the house. And Sammy got me a highlighter hoodie. Oh, my God. I got a fanny pack. I love it, Sammy. And also, there's nothing in the pockets. Sam, I thought you loved me. <laughs> It's Adidas, so now you, your girl could be walking around bad and bougie, you know, wearing Marca brands. What's up? Oh, I thought it was a Chili's blanket. But it's a Chili's gift card! Your girl's going to eat! It's my favorite color, red. Maybe there's something in here? An extra gift? Something? Thank you, best friend. I love you. Now for the Ulta box. I told him not to get me makeup i even told sammy not to get me makeup that's why she didn't get me makeup if she would have not listened to me she would have got me makeup but i told her not to because i'm the type of girl that yes i'm a makeup enthusiast i love makeup i love doing like crazy cute colorful looks or whatever but i'm the type of girl that like knows when enough is enough like i may i'm looking at my makeup shit and it's just it's already over like cluttered for my liking which I'm not really a clean person. But like my makeup area, I don't like my brushes everywhere even though they are. So I know when enough is enough. Like I have enough makeup. And everybody wants to keep buying me makeup just because I like makeup. But I'm not the type of girl that wants more and more makeup. So for my birthday, I told this kid no makeup. I get my present, open it, and it's $150 for makeup. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last Ulta haul or whatever. It took me eight hours to figure out what I wanted. Eight hours! And last time it was only like $50 or something like that. I don't remember how much it was. But it wasn't as much as, you know, $150. And it took me eight hours because I read all the reviews. I go back and forth between which, yeah, like, which setting powder do I want to get. I'm not going to get both. I'm getting just one. And there's just a whole lot of, like, it's just a lot of work. So how, why would you do this to me? But also, thank you. <laughs> I got 14 things, 13 things. I'm not going to count right now. But some of the stuff were just things that I needed to replace because I was running out or I was low on or whatever, whatever. And then a few of the things are things that I would try, but I would never get it because they're so expensive. You know, like if it was my money, I wouldn't pay for it. But since it was a gift card, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. <laughs> First things first, I struggle a lot with like dry skin, but like also really, really oily skin, but also like a dry scalp or maybe an over oily scalp because I know dry scalp and dandruff are two different things. So I think from what I read, I don't know, but I bought dandruff shampoo to help my scalp because your girl been struggling lately and I've always struggled with my hair since I was like a kid. So we gonna see if this works, which if it does. It's like a once in a lifetime thing because I'm never buying it again because it's dumb expensive for me and buying shampoo and it's a small bottle. Like my other bottles are way bigger than this, bigger than this, and they're like five bucks. So we gonna see. It's Redken Scalp Relief. Oh, can you see that? Focus, motherfucker. 
Um, we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I mean, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Next, I specifically dug in the box to get this, but I already have nice lips. We not gonna get into it. I know y'all be hating on my lips because they DSL. That's a fucking joke. Y'all be getting mad when I tell jokes. Yeah, there really be some press people in my comments whenever I say sarcastic shit. So let me just say, it's a joke. I know my lips are like normal size, but I like them. And when I do my makeup, they be looking like, so I want them to look like, like that. So I got a lip plumper, which I, I don't know if it really works. I, I read some reviews, some people like this, some people like, it doesn't do anything, yada yada yada. And then other bitches were complaining that it stinks too much. Man the fuck up, you know, okay? So, I got this by Soap and Glory Mother Pucker XXL. There was like a normal XL, I think, and then XXL, so you know you're gonna have to get the double XL. So I'm gonna put it on right now, and we're gonna see by the end of the video if my lips look different. They're looking real crusty, so BRB. Um, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Right off the bat, I feel tingling. Uh, ow. It's not that bad. I'm used to other things tingling. <laughs> it's not that bad. I just don't like the color. I would wear the color over, like, lipstick and stuff, but, like, by itself, it looks weird. And I bought my lips a lot, so, like, I can see, like, where I bled because I bite them. So I wouldn't wear it by itself, but like with lipstick, this would be really cute. And my lips, oh my god, I feel like I just put jalapenos all over it. I love it. I don't want this to sound creepy, but I low-key, I'm fucking with the tingling. Like, I would... Is this for external use only? <laughs> okay, next on the Ulta haul thingy is this. This was in my last, well, my skincare routine thing. Um, formula 10.0.6 Pores Be Pure Mud Mask. I love it. It smells phenomenal. Definitely one of my favorite mud masks, which I've only tried a few. I've only tried two. One from Walmart and this one. And I love it. So, had to re-up on that. I got some more of this Deep Clean Invigorating Foaming Scrub. Again, this was part of my skincare routine, and I really, really love it. Next on the skincare stuff that I got, I got this Mario. I'm not even going to say the name. I don't know how to say it. Facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Skin types all. I didn't even read that when I was ordering it, so cool that's for all. I got this because I know a lot of people talk about it, and, like, a bunch of people use, like, rose water and, like, that kind of stuff, and their skin be looking, like, plump and voluptuous and my skin isn't that bad but i feel like it could use a little oomph you know a little a little sunset so i got this and i read that you can use it like as you know like for skincare as a primer whatever and as a setting spray i don't think i'll be using it as a setting spray just because we don't get into that next but it definitely i'm going to incorporate it into my skincare so hopefully i don't look like a puff fish Puffer fish. Because I've had that happen before. I mean, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Next, I bought my mom this by D's Nuts. <laughs> by the. <laughs> 23 years old. Uh, delectable Soft Soft Soft. That's not the name. It's just delectable. Triple moisture body lotion. Yes, shea butter, coconut oil, aloe vera. No parabens. No flaff. Fl fl Mineral oil, GMOs, petrolatum, triclosan. Cruelty free and vegan. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I got this for my mom. Even though it was my birthday. I always do that. Like I said in my birthday video, I have a hard time just being selfish. I like to... Anyways, I got this for my mom because she likes one of my um, bath, body, whatever that place is called. One of my lotions because it smells really good. But it's not like vegan free or like... My mom doesn't like a lot of chemicals. Like I said, she shouldn't be on that healthy lifestyle or whatever. But she's always been like a natural person. So she wanted me to get her a lotion that didn't have like all the harsh chemicals and like... Whatever, whatever. So, I got her this one. Also, update on the lips. They look the same. 
I mentioned something about this briefly, is setting spray! It is by Catrice. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see. Um, Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I bought this already in my last Ulta haul, and I actually really, really, really loved it. I don't like it as a primer, but I love it as a setting spray. Like, it just... Just, and it leaves my skin really, really nice, but as a primer, I noticed that I didn't like how my foundation would lay down, so I don't like it as a primer. But if you want a new setting spray, I recommend this. I use the Hard Candy one all the time. I've been using it for years, like ever since I like started getting really into makeup. So this is like a good second. Going back to the category of skincare, I bought this CC Blackhead Scrub thingy um, by Clean and Clear. Oh. Mm. I got the little, what is it called? Travel size, which, bitch. This is tiny, but I guess it's travel size, whatever. One fluid ounce. Doesn't seem like one. But I'm not going to be putting this all over my face, just mainly my nose and my chin. And maybe like a little bit of my forehead. For blackheads. And it has coffee in it. Blackhead clearing coffee and scrub. So. Let's smell it. I know that when I was reading the reviews online, a bunch of people were bitching about the smell. Which, I mean, if it has coffee, you think it's not going to smell like coffee? Like, it, And you're putting it on your face, so it's going to... People are weird. Anyways. Mm. Oh my god, I love it! No, oh, not now. Oh my god, I love coffee. I love the smell of coffee. I'm the weird girl that loves to go down the coffee aisle just to go down the whole aisle because it smells so stinking good. Next, um, we'll just get into all the makeup stuff. I got some glitter eyeliner by NYX. I don't know if it's focusing. I can't tell. Um, in the color Diamond Dust, which I was going to get another color that was like a little bit more gold, but I think I like the silver color a little bit better. I got this. The Benefits. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It was between this and the, like, Precise something. I don't know. I was looking at two pencils, and I was just sitting there for, like, literally, I looked at these two pencils for about an hour. Comparing the two, and I just, I was like, what does this one do? What does this one do? And one was for more natural looks, and this one's for brush strokes and filling it. I don't freaking know. So, I just got this one, because I was like, mm, fuck it. Next, though, I got mascara, because I was running out. I, in my last Ulta haul, I got the Stiletto mascara. I don't know what brand it is. But, and it works really nice, but I miss this one. I really liked this one, Lash Paradise, but I didn't think I was going to like it because it seems so woo. But I bought this like at least three or four times, so back to this one. And then I wanted to try a new setting powder, which I love my Cody Airspun, but I feel like it doesn't keep me matte. And maybe it's because I use like a, like a super hydrating, like this is super hydrating, the setting spray. And my hard candy one is pretty moisturizing, whatever, whatever. So anyways, my Cody Airspun, I feel like I still get dumb oily, even though I like pound my face with it. But then I can't put too much because then I look too cakey and I'm not, I don't want to look cakey anymore. I want to look more natural. So I got this one, Re... Re... Mm, Makeup Revolution. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's focusing. Uh, translucent baking powder. They had like a banana color, I think. And then like for deeper skin tones. So I just got the translucent one, which it looks pretty white compared to my Cody Airspun. But my Cody Airspun looks pretty pink. So hopefully this works. <sighs> I just don't want to look oily. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Last but not least, I got a lip liner because when I was checking out, I think the total was like 146, 140 something. So I wanted to get it up to like at least 149, like some cent. So that's what I did. I got a lip liner in the color Deeply Intoxicated. I think that's the color. And it's by Essence. And that's all I got. But that's all for today's video. I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing. By quick, I don't think this was quick at all. But... I like doing un 
unboxings. I don't know why. Maybe it's, you know, I like to flex on everybody. Even though I don't be buying none of this shit. It's always gifted to me. Thank you, Sammy, for my stuff. And thank you, Bella, for getting me the gift card. I love everything. As always, service students, we have a good day, a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!